Today we're taking selfies. That's right, today we're taking selfies. I need some new content for Instagram and I also need a video. So I thought, hey, I've got three different ways that I shoot self portraits, selfies for my Instagram. So I thought it might be quite fun to share them with you guys. None of them are particularly fancy. I am limited on equipment, I'm limited on budget, I'm just a completely normal person who happens to like taking pictures. So if you're into shooting but you haven't got that much equipment, this is definitely going to be the video for you. So we're not going to waste any time, we're going to get straight into it, partly because I'm really quite warm in this hat, but I've committed to it now. Wise, I am keeping it super, super simple. Flip screen, DSLR, my smartphone, the classic, traditional, does not have a flip screen. I am very aware that this is an incredibly outdated setup, but I think it's important to show you because I shoot all of my photos with this camera. So I use this setup the most. Flip screen cameras are obviously fantastic. Wireless compatibility is obviously fantastic, but all my photos for Instagram, every single one of them, is shot on this camera, this 15-year-old OAP dinosaur. <laughs> Moving on to lighting. Lighting is super, super simple. Straight directional window light, which is hands down my favorite. All you need is a window. Is it, like, it's, it's right there. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's a giant softbox, just use it. <laughs> Angles on a phone, I find are much easier than angles with a camera because I tend to photograph a little bit flat because I've got um, quite a round face, <laughs> which sounds like I'm fishing, but it's just facts. <laughs> Straight facts, man. I've got a round face. So I have to be quite careful with my choice of lens and my choice of angle, and my choice of lighting, and my choice of pose, and everything else that goes along with it. Otherwise, my face just looks really flat, and just not, it's just not interesting to look at. So those are my three setups and here are my three selfies. These are the final ones that I've picked from each setup and then all I have to do is edit them. And I'm probably going to edit them all slightly differently because I am a fickle bitch and I cannot make up my mind whether I like warm tones at the moment or cool tones at the moment. So here's like one and a half of each, I don't know. Editing selfies is one of those things that's like super easy. Um, just because most times I already know what I want the photo to look like, especially if it's for Instagram. I know what my grid looks like, I know what kind of colors I'm going for, and if I've got something new that I want to try out, like a new editing technique or something, then flat light selfies, like this one, super, super, super useful for seeing exactly what a new editing technique does. So as long as you don't mind looking at your own face, you can actually learn a lot about editing people and fixing things and color correction and everything like that from editing your own selfies. So that's it. That's how I shoot my selfies. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please hit like and subscribe. Drop me a comment down below if you're still using super old OAP ancient camera master technology. I would be super interested to know how many people are still shooting the same way I'm shooting because I am so out of date. But also, I don't really care because it's just so accessible and so easy now for me. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a like and a comment and please consider subscribing. It really helps us out and hit the ring bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.